Hey, what up, guys? Um, so, uh, a couple of you guys have uh, been um, wondering how to uh, MIDI sync your uh, Launchpad app to your circuit. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, first the thing you're going to need, though, you're going to need the go get a USB to camera connection kit. Um, it could be either, either be this one or the cheaper one, which is like 29. This one was actually 39. The reason being it's 39. It's not only USB 3, but it actually has a charging port. So you could actually charge your iPad um, while you plug devices into it. So you're definitely going to need one of these to do it. Um, especially if you're going to play like light, long live sets, um, you probably want to go with a with the powered. So, uh, <laughs> I'm actually in a hotel room, so you know, sorry for about all the the shakiness and all that. But anyways, um, so yeah, so you take your uh, your USB A, plug it in your camera connection kit. This is your power cord to the wall. Plug it into your iPad. All right, so we got that settled. So, so now we're gonna go over here to uh, pad, pad. There we go. And then we're gonna tap on your BPM. And I'll pull up a menu screen. See how it says uh, MIDI link disabled. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tap on the MIDI link. Um, and I'll pull up this menu. Now you're not actually going to see anything because uh, your circuit's not on. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, oh yeah, it's really important that you set it up, your circuit, to MIDI before you actually power it on. So you're going to hold shift and then press the power button. Oops, <laughs> my bad, held power too long. All right, shift in power. And then now you're at your MIDI setup screen. So um, since I have multiple devices uh, set up, um, I'm gonna make sure that one's turned off. Um, and pretty sure you just leave these two turned on and hit play. Alright, so, so go ahead and plug in your USB cable. And then go back to your iPad. Now it reads circuit. Press circuit. And you got a check mark. And you're, so you should be synced up. Now, um, one thing is when you're synced up, um, you, depending if you have any, um, um, I can't think of a, the word, but basically a lag on one of the devices, uh, you're going to have to adjust it with uh, your buffering setting. Um, I kind of know my, my lag, which is around uh, 30 and the negative 32. And th this will actually sync it properly, so it'll be on beat. So, oh, I forgot the. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, my bad. I forgot the. Um, so you want to enable your timing clock. There you go. <laughs> All right. Now, now you have a. Uh, uh, this button actually shows up and that's how you know your MIDI sync. So if I hit play on this, it should play on your circuit. So now it's playing on the circuit. Um, one thing though, if you hit stop, it doesn't stop it on the circuit. Or actually I take that back, it does. <laughs> My bad. So... So now if I 
actually play something on my pad, it should be set up. And it's actually in perfect sync. Oh yeah, that's what it was. If you hit stop here on your MIDI sync, it stops on your circuit, but it doesn't stop it on your iPad. So you actually got to hit the top stop. Um, yeah, like like I said, um, you do you depending on your device, um, you are going to have to set the offset, adjust it. So you're going to have to use your ears to beat match it um, until it's pretty on point. I mean, if you're using the same stuff I'm using it should be the same negative 32 milliseconds um, and it should line up for you guys perfectly um, yeah with that being said uh, enjoy